Greetings WordPressers, Spiro here from WPSociety.com. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to install WordPress in cPanel hosting environment. That means that you need to have your domain and hosting. If you don't have one as of yet, make sure you check the link in the description of this video because I'm going to leave the link in which you can claim a discount for your domain and hosting. Now before we go to the content, I just want to let you know that here at WP Society we create WordPress tutorials. So if you want to learn more about WordPress, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Also make sure you check our new website wpsociety.com. And now without further ado, let's go, let's get into the content. Alright guys, we are now inside my computer. As you can see, we are over at goodmoodpromotions.com. This is a website that I want to use for testing purposes for our WP Society channel and wpsociety.com website. So guys, I split this tutorial into four steps so it's easy to follow. In the first step, we're going to download WordPress CMS. Then in the second step, we are going to upload and extract it to the hosting account. In the third step, then we are going to create a database. They're going to create a database user and then we're going to give user permission to access database. And in the final and fourth step, we are going to install WordPress. It's very simple tutorial. Everyone can follow this. So guys, make sure you watch this video till the end and learn something new today. So let's start with the step number one. Let's go to wordpress.org and then click get WordPress and then download WordPress and just save your WordPress file. It might take a couple of seconds to download. Once download is complete, Feel free to close the wordpress.org website and it's time to log in into your cPanel. So just type cPanel or log in through your hosting account. Now once you are inside your cPanel account, what you want to do, you want to navigate to the files and find the file manager. It's right there in the left side, you can see, then click file manager and it will open the file manager plugin in which we can control our files on a server. Now the public HTML folder is the folder which we use or which is used for displaying websites on a main domain and the main domain in this hosting account is goodmoodpromotions.com as you can see here. So since primary domain is stored in a public HTML that's where we want to install our WordPress right. So click on public HTML and then this is the folder where we're gonna upload our WordPress CMS. So click upload and then select file and select select WordPress zip file. Once upload is completed, just close this file upload window, then go up one level and open this public HTML folder one more time. And if you've done everything correctly, you'll see this WordPress zip file in folder, then click right click and extract and then click extract files. Now close this window. I like to delete this WordPress archive, but if you want, you can leave it. So I'm going to delete and then confirm that you want to delete permanently. Then open up this WordPress folder and select all in a folder and click move and move to the public HTML. So remove this WordPress part here and move files to public HTML folder. And then also permanently remove this WordPress folder, which we want to use obviously. So delete and skip the trash, confirm. Now you can close this window, you can leave it open, I'll leave it open because we'll need it later in step number three. So go back to first window into your cPanel and search for databases. Once you find the databases, find MySQL databases and click here. And it's time to create database, username and allow permissions. So basically here you type any database name you want. I'll type WP Society. And we have created a new database and this is the name of the database. So this is very important information and you should store this. So you want to store this somewhere permanently. Maybe you want to write it down on a piece of paper, but I'm going to just temporarily store into notepad file and then click go back and scroll down and you'll see MySQL users. It's recommended not to have same database name and username. Well, I quite often do do exactly that mistake, but for purposes of this tutorial, let's practice something which is the recommended. So I'm going to call it K31X. And for password, you can use your own password, but I recommend going with the generated password. So click password generator. You're going to get this password. Now copy this password and paste it into your notepad database pass and 
click I've copied password in a safe place and use password. And now just click create user. And as you can see, you have created a new username or new user. And that's the username. And create here, database user. And now what you need to do, you need to allow this user to access permissions so it can access this database, right? So go back and one more time, scroll all the way down and add user to database, find user you want, K31X, and find the database you want, WP Society, and click add. Now here, give it all privilege because to make sure everything works fine and for WordPress, it's necessary to give all these privileges. And then click make changes. And that's it guys. Now you wanna go back to home and you wanna open up a file manager again. Since I didn't close previous window, I'm just gonna click here. And we are now inside file manager. There are different ways to do this, but this is my favorite way and the simplest way to install WordPress. Right click on a wp-config-sample.php and then click rename. And just remove this sample. So what's left is wp-config.php and click rename. And now right click on this and edit again and then click edit. Now we have stored these passwords, database name and username. So just copy paste in the right fields. So database name into DB name, database user into user and database password into password. And we are done with the step number three. Last step and final step is to install WordPress. To do so, just open up this goodmoodpromotions.coinz or your domain, and you will find yourself in this install wizard. Now, before we finish the installation, make sure you smash the like, subscribe to the channel, comment in the description below, let me know where you're from. I would really appreciate it to connect more with my audience. But yeah, let's finish this tutorial. So select your language and then click continue and give your site title, username, I'll put admin, but it's recommended not to use admin, and then just copy this password because, or write your password, any password, and if it's weak, you'll have to confirm that you want to use weak password, and then enter your email. If you're just installing your WordPress for the first time and you didn't do your website yet, you might want to discourage search engines from indexing the site. That way you can disable Google from coming into site until you actually update and until you publish the real site on your domain. And that's why I'm gonna tri trigger this on and then click install WordPress. And guys, that's it. Now click login and just use admin or whatever username you choose and your password. My password was any password and click login. And we are inside our WordPress dashboard. As you can see, this is our WordPress demo website. And that guys brings us to the end of this video. One last thing before I knock off, if you're interested in making money online, make sure you check my number one recommendation on how to make money online, which is what I'm doing right now. Sign up for my email list and I'm gonna send it over to you right away, right now. And with that being said, we got to the end of the video. If you like it, smash the like. If you don't like, uh, dislike the video, I hope you've learned something. If you did so, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you wanna learn more about WordPress, if you wanna learn how to make a WordPress website, I'll make sure to leave a couple of very good, very interesting cards on the right hand side over there. Cheers, I'll see you again.